my homages. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do today, but it's gonna be an adventure. I have almost an entire pot of coffee down right now and I am ready to- And yes, I woke up like this. I did brush my teeth and my hair. Didn't wanna breathe in your face and scare you away or anything like that. But right now I'm working on an art project. I'm waiting to hear back from a friend. It did end up snowing last night. Just gross, saw my clips earlier about that. Anyway, waiting to hear back from her to see if she's still gonna meet up for breakfast or something like that. But in the meantime, I think we're gonna work on a project because I have all this ambition packed inside of me. So we're gonna take advantage of it. All right, so this is my current project. I built this out of barn and then I painted it red and then I used my silhouette machine to cut these out and I painted over it. It's kind of a process. I'll show you kind of how I do that in a little bit. I built this all out of repurposed wood. A few years back, me and my dad pulled this wood off of an old barn. So it's actually our neighbor's barn, which is no longer there. But yeah, they were tearing it down. So I took the boards and wanted to repurpose it. I think what I want to do is put faith over fear on this. So this is kind of one of my things that I want to check off my procrastination list because I've been looking at it for probably over a year. So it's time to get it done. Before I get started, I wanted to add that these are all scraps that I'll be using. Um, I'm kind of a tightwad and I like to repurpose things and I don't like things to go to waste. So I recycle them and I'm probably going to use these instead of some new vinyl because I have plenty here to choose from. <laughs> My friend Lisa isn't coming till the afternoon, so what I'm gonna do is eat breakfast and let this dry. a brand spanking new day. And no, I didn't vlog the rest of yesterday. Lisa and I ended up going for an early lunch and we had a really good conversation. I ended up showing her around the city that I live in and stuff like that. So it was just overall a really good day. And then last night, for some reason, I found myself in this downward spiral of negative thinking and stuff like that. It's just, I feel like it's a regular process and a normal thing of following your dreams. The painting that I just finished that's titled Buying Time, uh, I posted a story of it on Instagram and I posted some other stuff too and I just really didn't get a lot of feedback on it. Well, long story short, I ended up taking the post off of my Instagram page because I'm naturally a very deep person and I've noticed a trend. I've noticed the more that I embrace who I am and embrace my individuality and just who I am overall as a person and I follow my dreams and I follow where God is guiding me to go, the, the less people that support me. And this can be a very lonely journey. This morning I was looking at some of my older videos.
videos and I was like, God, I wonder why like none of them ever popped off. Well, I had to be really honest with myself. They were good videos, but they weren't great. The lighting wasn't awesome. And I think that that's part of starting. That's a big reason why people don't start in the first place is they're so scared of rejection if their videos might suck or the lighting's not good. And I made a promise to myself back in October when I was recovering from my surgery. I was like, I'm going to post two to three times a week consistently until something happens. And I'm going to continue to do that. And there's going to be the low moments and there's going to be times where I feel down on myself. But every time that I find myself feeling that way, I have to redirect my thoughts back to it's consistency. One day it's going to pay off. It's one of them things where you put all this time, energy, and effort into and you don't see a payoff or a result until your channel gets monetized or someone sees your work or something like that. And I think overall, it's just a matter of putting yourself out there and not being afraid of looking ridiculous, not being afraid of saying what you feel. And I was gonna leave the Instagram post up, but you know what? Not everybody needs to know what I'm up to. And I'm sharing with you guys on this YouTube channel because I feel like it's a very safe space because I promised that I'd be sharing this journey with you guys. So that's that. I just got done walking on the treadmill for about an hour. I was gonna do 15 minutes, but I was like, I'm gonna do 30 minutes. And then I, I was watching a really good YouTube video and I was like, I'm gonna do an hour. So I did an hour and that's done. So my walking is done for the day. I might hit up the gym later. I did get some packages in the mail yesterday. I got these little labels for making candles. I have them linked in the description below. And then also I wanna show you these. So I bought these little tins when I make candles. They're adorable. Let's see if I open it up right here. And it's cool because they come with the burning instructions that you put on the bottle, bottom of the tins. But basically you take them out and it's hard to do this with one hand. So you put that on the bottom and then I'm going to put these little labels on the top. And I have five different scents that I'll be um, using. So in the near future I'll be providing homemade candles on my website. And this morning I actually, well I spent a pretty good chunk of my morning figuring out how to link Amazon affiliate links on my YouTube videos so you'll be seeing more of those. So if anything that I unbox is purchasable I'll put it in the link in the description below which is really cool. That was one of the things that I had on my procrastination list and it took me forever to check it off. So I got that done and then I was also, look. I've been looking at into international shipping and been researching pricing and kind of how to price things out and I noticed that there's a trend there's like three countries that are at the top obviously US is one of them and then ironically there's a lot of people from the UK Canada and Russia on my website so down the road you'll be seeing options to ship internationally it's one of the things that is also on my procrastination list that I'm trying to check off but I'm getting myself I guess I'm schooling myself on that I'm educating myself on international shipping and that's one thing that I did in my position before when I actually went like in my nine to five or whatever I handled international shipping but it was more so big pallets so it was a bunch of shipping through like DSV and DHL and SIVA Air and all that stuff so I dealt with international shipping in that room but international shipping is pretty different for smaller packages so I'm just kind of looking into like rules and regulations I don't want to bore you with the details of that but I spent a good chunk of my morning getting things done instead of being on my phone because I feel like I've been on this thing a little bit too much and I notice they start to get really negative and in my head when I'm on my phone too much so if you're seeing this it's a sign to work on your procrastination list and put your phone down. All right, here's the sign. I got it all finished. I put a clear coat on it this morning and I touched up the little, um, the, the little pieces of white that bled through yesterday. So that's all done. And it turned out pretty cute. I'm really happy that I got this finished. It's another thing off my procrastination list completed. I am gonna put some little hangers on the back side here though.
Muy bien! All right, so the next project here, my friend wants me to make a couple of necklaces out of these. They used to be these little heart earrings. And then this one, he filed down and made a cross for one of our friends that we go to church with. And I'm gonna make two necklaces for him and get those completed. I'm gonna show you what I have. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. What are words? Words are, words are, words are weird. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I worked on here. My little project projects. All right, this is what I have so far. So this one is for Rochelle. She is a very dainty small lady. I call her small fry. She's one of the tiniest people in my life. And this is for her. The colors really match her. She's just very elegant and very dainty, so I kind of did that sort of a look. And then this one is for Chelsea. Chelsea's a lot like myself. She likes a lot of gothic looks and seashell choker necklace style, so I kind of did some up her vibe. I did hot pink and black because it's, you know, more so her. Let's see if I can get a better visual here. Here's natural lighting. It looks a lot better. I'll do this one in natural light too, since the ring light's kind of blowing it out a little bit. Yeah, and then I reinforced these little charms on here. The way that they were secured on before, they would have easily got yanked off, so this is yank proof. <laughs> skirt, skirt! And then, this is what I have so far with my painting. I did a lot of blending, and it kind of looks pretty. It reminds me of a solar system or an eye, but I was thinking about going in here with a different brand of acrylic paint that'll go over the top, and I want to make a lot of random stuff in here. And then I might do skeleton hands doing a heart. I just saw the vision in my mind, so yeah. So I got this box in the mail and it says cooking on Mars. And I thought, did I win a sweepstakes? Did I? I don't think I ordered any cooking stuff and I couldn't figure out why. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> I bet this is my thermometer for candle making. Let's see here. Wow, it is. That's exciting. Got my thermometer. So we might be making candles tomorrow. Let's see. So I have a dilemma. I'm super freaking bored. Why can I not sit still? It might have been the latte that I had this afternoon, but I already walked an hour today and I'm about to go walk another hour because I'm bored out of my gourd. How am I bored? I don't know, that's a good question. That's what I ask myself every day. I did all these things, I have all this energy, and it's not a bad thing. I just don't wanna sit on the couch and watch television because it's wasting my time right now. It's kinda of something to do at night when you're relaxing. Yeah, I'm gonna take Crick for a W-A-L-K. Can't really say it cause she might go a little. I didn't even say anything yet. You're sassy today. You gotta be quiet. No, cause you're, you're no, cause your friends can't come with. Sorry, y'all. You don't have a leash. You're from the countryside. You don't even know how to walk on a leash. Go for a walk, Crick. Yeah, go for a walk. Okay. Sorry, man. You're S O L. You gotta stay here. Quit back talking. Patience. Patience, young grasshopper.
got right with the Lord and now we're gonna make some candles. that goes underneath this thing so I don't have to do the double boiler on the stove. For right now, this is what's gonna work. Once this melts down a little bit, I'm gonna stick the thermometer in there. And then this candle's for me, and then these ones are for gonna be for sale. I think I'm gonna make a little wick holder out of, I don't know, maybe some popsicle sticks, drill some holes in them quick. show you what I worked on last night. So I made these smoker clips last night. They're like cigarette clips. They're really useful if you don't want to touch the cigarette butt or whatever. These were actually a special order for one of my friends. I'm not entirely sure if she's gonna purchase these for me, but these will be available on my website if she doesn't buy them. This is an opal light one. Let it zoom in here. That one's really pretty. It's kind of got like an iridescent look and then this is black onyx. Pretty cool. So yeah, basically what you do is you hold it and you don't touch the button, you just, I don't, I'm personally not a smoker, but I can create almost anything, so I did. So I just wanted to show you guys those. And then I have these scraps, the, this leftover wire from the 18 gauge wire that I used. And I think I might try some hammered earrings this afternoon. I have this really heavy metal block here. My dad cut this off of a big piece of metal. I got my hammer here that my dad also gave me a long time ago. I think it was my grandfather's, honestly, or my great grandfather's, so. That's an old one. And then I'm gonna use these. We're gonna, we're gonna pound some metal. completed. Oh, those are cute. Go on my website. Mm -hmm. Link is in the description below. See when you're a giraffe, you need to readjust your camera upwards. You can't see. What the fuck is my water? I gotta be on for this one. Bring my singing ship back to the shore. Through my veins like it ain't sin 
Think about buying you a diamond ring, but I won't fall in love. Cat boogies. Mm -hmm. I always like it. Is your cat getting too cool? Yeah. Show him to. It's so much harder singing into a mic than like not in a mic. You call me again, drunk in bends, driving home under the influence. I don't relate to you. You ruin everything good. If I had a highway, I would run for the hills. If you could find a driveway, I'd forever be still. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. show you guys here the candles have solidified wow look at that pretty dang nice if you ask me this one I'm excited about I was gonna keep this one for myself but it turned out so beautiful I might end up selling it it looks really nice not too shabby I think in the morning what I'm gonna end up doing is taking a hair dryer to melt some of the wax so it flattens out a little bit more but yeah I did ten of those and then one of these that took about two pounds of wax I don't remember the lady's username let me check real quick or not the lady the the YouTube channel I'll put a link in the description below for the how to make soy candles DIY candle making tutorial by pro candle supply so I'll be linking that down below if you want to check it out it's pretty fun to make candles I love it so I did get an order for this bracelet here I'll show you here so Cassandra ordered this for her mom the light so I'll be packaging this up this is a labradorite and opalite I used cat eye in there too ain't it pretty she's a dainty one so we're gonna package that up right now Time to be Picasso. You give these candles a little facelift, make them look not so lumpy. Yeah, so they turned out pretty decent. I think I'm gonna take this blow dryer to them though and kind of level out these bumps there. So let's try it. <laughs> So that already looks better. So I like that. I'm gonna put the popsicle stick back on here and then finish the rest of them. in from outside and I realized I didn't say goodbye to you guys. I think that this is the end of the vlog and thanks so much for hanging out with me this weekend. We got a lot of stuff accomplished. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part was out of the whole video. Maybe what you'd like to see more of in the future or even if you just made it to the end of this. I really appreciate your time watching this. If you watched all the way to, to the end that really helps me out and if you haven't already subscribed that'd be great if you would if you think I'm kind of cool. Cause I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> Tooting my own horn, toot toot. Anyway, uh, I did want to show you this thing before I leave. Like before I leave, I'm leaving. I made this little pendant here out of wire. So that'll go on a simple chain necklace or something. I don't know. I was just trying to use up the wire. Kind of matches the earrings that I made today. But anyway, it was an eventful weekend and it's snowing like a banshee outside and it's the end of March. You'll be watching this in April, but it's insane. I hope it ends soon. <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and I hope you have a marvelous day. Bye guys.